July 2019 marks the 50th anniversary of the first man on the moon. Half a century after that initial giant leap for mankind and thrust forward by billionaire entrepreneurs such as Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos and Sir Richard Branson, the business opportunity presented by space travel has morphed from science fiction to reality. UBS Global Research predicts space travel to rocket, becoming an $800 billion plus industry by the end of 2030. While space tourism is still nascent, it's expected to become mainstream as the tech is proven and the cost falls. Commercial space companies such as SpaceX, Blue Origin, Virgin Galactic and United Launch Alliance are investing aggressively. US-based startup Bigelow has successfully tested an expandable space module that uses an outer shell technology which will enable larger accommodation structures, think hotels, to be built in space. This flurry of activities is not limited to the US. New ventures are being launched across the globe, from India to China and all the way to New Zealand. By around 2030, we estimate space tourism will be a three billion plus per year opportunity and that it will be growing at double-digit rates. That's space travel. But the bigger opportunity could be for space to service long-haul air travel. SpaceX says its Starship rocket would be able to fly from New York to Shanghai in 39 minutes, compared to the 15 hours it takes currently by airplane. In 2018, there were around 800 routes on point-to-point -point flights of over 10 hours. Assuming that just 5% of the more than 150 million passengers who flew these routes are serviced by space at $2,500 per trip, it will be worth more than $20 billion a year. That's a game changer. None of the major global hotels, airlines and tour operators has disclosed plans to enter the space tourism or long haul opportunity via space yet. UBS believes airlines and hotel groups are likely to enter the market over time. That said, history tells us that in new disruptive segments such as the internet and digital photography, it's not the risk-averse incumbents that are the first movers, but new players. The question might be whether it may prove too late for those incumbents to engage. But with billionaires, businesses and governments gazing up at an $800 billion plus opportunity, it seems there's no question that space tourism and space-rooted long-haul travel are likely to be a common reality in the not-too-distant future.